Hello and welcome to another episode of Zulk Talks Photography. Today we're speaking to Chris about another lens. We spoke to him before about his camera, the Panasonic, and his favorite lens. But today we have him with his Canon lens, which is an interesting one, and it's a 55 to 250. So I've got Chris up now, and you can see that lens that he's got, which is there. It looks amazing. I think it's something good for especially zooming so if i take you to chris you can give us a bit of an overview of that lens and what he likes about it what's up zolf thank you for having me on here again um this is the this is i suppose about to say sigma this is the canon efs 55 to 250 millimeter lens um this is one of their cheaper telephoto lenses this is definitely the um better one of the two because i think they have a 50 to or no a 75 to 300 millimeter and they also have this one the 55 to 250 and this is the better of the better of the two that has better optics, has much more clarity with it. It is a 4.0 to 5.6 um, f-stop lens, and it has image stabilization if you want that or you so choose. It is autofocus. Um, I don't ever use the autofocus given, you know, my typical video background. But um, my favorite thing about this lens, like what, the reason I keep this lens around is on my uh, GH5. Since it is an EFS lens, I can't use my speed boosters with it, so I have to use a dummy adapter. And with that, it uses the two times crop from a micro four thirds sensor. So this becomes a 110 to 500 millimeter lens, which is absolutely, which is absolutely perfect for any wildlife photography or stuff that I need like long distance shots on. Um, I don't get to do my wildlife photography as much as I used to. I absolutely love getting to do that. One of my favorite shots I ever got to do was like of a, um, I'll say it was a crane. It was in a pond, but then it took off flying, and I got it at like the perfect moment. I have to send you the photo if I can find yeah. it. But that's like my favorite photo I ever did with this lens, um, and I think it was my G7 at the time. But ever since that day, because it was like the first day I got this lens, um, it has always just been like stuck in my bag, just in case I need to pull it out because it gives. Um, it's not as sharp as the G as the uh, Sigma 18 to 35 but it is definitely sharper than most cheap zoom lenses. And I think it's only really surpassed by the Sigma 50 to 100 or even the Canon, um, what do you call it? The Canon L mount lens or the Canon L series lens, which I can't remember the focal length off the top of my head. To 70. <clears throat> Might've been that one. It was, it's the um, white one that has like the massive zoom lens. I think it was like 50, I think it was like a 75 to uh, 300 oh. or 400, something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head, That's but right. that one I think is the next best, that was probably the next best one to this one because it is absolutely amazing when you get to use it. The downside, it's like two thousand dollars, <laughs> whereas this one's only like one hundred and fifty. Um, Definitely, would you recommend that lens for someone who's starting in photography, even if they were the Canon crop sense sensor? Absolutely, like this is probably. I think this was the second or third lens I ended up getting for my Canon, and this is the only one I still own of my Canon lenses that I originally had. Um, it has just been such a great workout workhorse for me. I wouldn't use it for portraits or anything. It is definitely not for that. It is really only if you want to do like nature, wildlife, um, really far off things. So maybe like planes flying in the sky or just long distance photos. Um, but it does those things excellently. And I have never had a problem with this thing. Um, oh, that's been excellent. I think that's been a, yeah, I think that's been a good review on that because it's giving us an overview of the lens. And it's important to say, like you mentioned, you get some great photos regardless of gear. So sometimes even older lenses can help out. And if you're in that situation, whichever lens you have is the best lens, like they say, the best camera Bingo. with you. So it's been great to speak to you about your lens today. And I know that's one of the less used lenses at the moment because you've been using your Sigma, which is mm -hmm. a great lens. But we have got that on a separate video. So I'll link to that so you can check that out. We've been speaking to Chris quite a bit about his setup. So it's been really nice to get his perspective on this. I'll link to him in the cards and in the end screen so you can check out his channel and the various other videos that we've been speaking to him about. 